Hey everybody, Antec here. Welcome back to Gold Rush. Look at her. Here she is. Ain't she a beaut? So this ought to let us get some serious gold mining operation stuff getting going. <laughs> Welcome back. We are back in the action. And uh, does this thing have any gas? Probably by default. Might have a little bit. Um, yeah, it does. Okay. Can we... Oh yeah, we gotta raise the bucket probably. Okay. There we go. Okay, so same thing basically. All right. This is yeah, this is gonna be nice This is gonna let us get some serious gold. So we got this in the last episode. We've got everything set up We got our gas. We're re refueling our generator right now actually and uh, wow This thing is actually really touchy compared to the excavator Obviously because the excavator is a big giant piece of crap in my opinion and it's so slow All right, so we've got a problem here. How am I gonna get? I got a, I got enough room, right, to get this up in here? Hold on a second. Let's, sh let me get out of here real fast. I got enough room, I think. All right, to bring this up here over and over again, right here. Load it in. I mean, that might be in the way, but I think, oh yeah, another thing too, in the last episode, I didn't, I freaking forgot to get the uh, magnetite separator. And so I was wasting gold, man. And then another thing, I, well, it'll be there anyway, but in the uh, in the miner's moss, the gold that's getting stuck in the miner's moss, I gotta wash that off too. So I got some more buckets. I got the magnetite separator. I got this stuff going over here. We've got gas in this. Oh, is there any more gas in this that I can fuel this up? It is, sweet. There's a bunch in there. Okay, so um, we got that fueled up. Those are fueled up, water's going, we just gotta turn everything on and we can start getting into the action. So, we take the dirt from the the shaker over there and then we bring it over here in the collector, the, uh, what is it, jig, something or other. And then we put we, we uh, put it in here, obviously it's gonna collect it, we take it here, then we put it into the wave table. That's what we gotta do first. Okay, so let's get everything going here. This thing's still fueling up, we got tons of fuel. Start this all up. Duplex jig, that's what's called. Wave table. Okay. Let's stop fueling this for now. Don't need to fuel it anymore. Put this back over here. Alright, so everything's going. Magnetized separator's going. Everything's going. That's going. Okay. Let's uh wait, we got we got our buckets in place. Gotta make sure we got our buckets in place down there. We do. Okay, we're good. Let's start loading this up first. Let's get some hole in with this thing. Man, we can make a huge hole. Let's make a huge hole, guys. I was doing some testing with this thing, and it seems like it's pretty touchy with how you have to actually set this up. And I have to take it from the other side of the uh, area. Look, we can lift this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's the wrong way. Then raise this up all the way. So here's the thing. Um, you can't... I, I moved a bunch of stuff out of the way. Because, look at how, I mean, this game is so derpy, man. It's like, you think, this is a gigantic machine with gigantic wheels. You should be able to go up over a little bit of freaking dirt. Alright, so, uh, I had to move things out of the way because you can't, you can't load it in from over here on this side. It's, you know, the arm's not high enough, but you can't even load it in from this side, really. It's a little too, uh, a little too low. So let's go ahead and let's turn this div on. Pull that cord. Can't forget about the, uh, about the water. Gotta have the water going. Water, water. Power. Power. All right. Looks, looks good. We got our mats now. All right, so now let's take this load and let's dump it off. We just just make sure everything's going well. Okay, can't forget that water. If you forget the water, nothing works. So, all right. So watch watch what I'm watch what I'm talking about here. So when we take it over on this side, this should be high enough to offload everything, right? But because of the way that the bucket is on this thing, there's not like so the arms as high as I got I can get it right now. But watch when I lower this, it doesn't all come out. And I've seen people with these like actual machines like actually kind of shake it back and forth. But it doesn't look like we have the ability to really do it too well because you have to lower it down significantly in order to drop the bucket. And so um, kind of what we have to do I think is kind of go like this right here. 
and then lower this down and hope see it doesn't it doesn't all come out it seems like the only real way to do it is to wa watch what happens here okay watch what happens you lower the bucket down it derps out it comes out though but the machine just like derps out so my point is is that you can't get a full you can't really get a full load whoops don't come out of there it's gonna derp out on me yeah you can't like really get a full load out of the thing you can only get like a little bit of stop doing that <laughs> I'm trying to get the bucket up but it's like stuck right now the bucket's stuck in there uh oh uh oh we've made a mistake Oh no. There's no way to get this other than short of like transporting it somewhere. Can we get that arm up please? Get the arm up please. Oh we've we've made a mistake. We've made a serious mistake. <laughs> I wasn't recording, but the thing just went flying. Look at this. I think it resets me. Look at what it look at what it just look what just happened. It just reset me over here. This game is so derpy, guys. It's so derpy. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's so derpy. So, yeah. That just happened. And, uh, that is really annoying. Because what the heck am I supposed to do? Oh, man. This game is so broken. There's like some serious, serious bugs with this game. Alright, we got it, I think, maybe. We got it, maybe. I don't know how serious of a game this is supposed to be, though. Because it is like, you know, based off of that Discovery Channel show. Right? It is Dis it's Discovery Channel, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright, there we go. Can we just back it up now? So, needless to say, uh, unfortunately, I don't think this thing... I wonder though if the load of it is still great, even though we can't get a full load, if it's still greater than that of the ex excavator. I have to imagine it is. Alright, so that really sucked. Uh, so don't do that again. It's a good thing I tested this out before and n found out what was going to happen. Because if I would have gone into the. I wish I would have recorded it flying though. That was just freaking great. So, needless to say. If you play this game and you get this thing, uh, maybe it maybe it's this location, maybe it's the location, and uh, th for whatever reason the mound on this location is not as high as like some other ones. Because I've seen people play those other locations and they don't have uh, they don't have a ton of trouble like loading this up. I gotta get used to how maneuverable this thing is. It's insane. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is just dump this a little bit, lower it down a little bit at a time, and don't let it get trapped in there. So that's that's the load size. So we, we're going to miss a lot of our load, but I wonder if it's a, actually a pretty, uh, like a decent amount. So our mats caught... Wow, we got a couple mats that are like 6% full. So let's, uh, let's go down here and just park this thing for now I bet it's still I bet even though we don't get it all I bet it's still a larger load than that of the excavator all right so we've got stuff in our mats collected being collected in our mats so we can wash those off need to go without a there we're still getting gold in here so um let's like both of these um none of these are both at zero percent so how about we take one of our mats here. We should be able to just grab the mat. There we go. So that way I don't have to worry about uh, taking those other things off. The the big things. Those are apparently pretty heavy in real life too. So um, Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take this. Go get some water. Oh, I should... I should have got another bucket. I should have bought another bucket. Spare bucket. Because I don't think this will work. You can put this in here. Scrub dish off. Like that. 
And I think that's all we have to do. And then we're going to take... Oh, you know what? We just need to bring this over here. We don't actually need to put... Nah, whoa, whoa, look at that gold. Look at that gold we just got right there. Wow, so uh, that's kind of what we need to do. And we have to do a bucket at a time, unfortunately. So we can't, like, do... Can't probably rinse them all off inside there. I wouldn't I wouldn't imagine that you can. 42. Wow. That's pretty substantial. Uh, I need you. I need you. Very, very specific. Very touchy. Got it. All right. So that was actually quite a bit of gold in there. And luckily we don't have to... Uh, I wish there was an easy way to get water, so you'd have to run over here every single time. This is like the only like real kind of painful criticism I have. Where's my bucket? Is like you have to do like when you go to the warehouse and you have to load up the load up the truck, you have to take each individual piece. I mean, it makes sense. Like you want you to have like the simulation, but it's just annoying from a gamer perspective. It's like let me just do it. Let me just get it done with. All right. It's never anything like that. You're lucky. It's the biggest gold nugget I've I've seen in 40 years of my experience as miner. I hope it's not just beginner's luck, and you you'll use it wisely. Stop shoveling and start using proper machines. Check what you need to run mobile. Pff, what the heck? Holy smokes! We just found a 40, almost a 40 ounce nugget. What the heck, dude? What in the world? That's amazing! Holy buckets, man! Give me this. Give me this mat. Wow, that's crazy. Get up here, man! Get up there, man! Hopefully, we find another nugget like that. Gosh, we just made some serious moolah. All right, so we gotta go get some more water again. This is this is this is the gold life right here, but dude, we just got a huge nugget. That's gonna be so. That's like that's like fifty thousand bucks right there. Or I don't know what it is actually. It's around there. I don't know what the price of gold is. It changes. There's an actual market for it, and so like it fluctuates. All right. How about another one of those? Can I have another one of those nuggets? I think it was just beginner's luck, guys. Just all beginner's luck. There's still gold coming out of there. We're still getting gold, man. Still little gold gold flakes popping out of that water. Okay. What's the other ones? Um wait. These are full of gold though. We're getting gold for each one. Okay, maybe we'll stop after this one and get another load. Or yeah, we'll start putting some more loads in and then we can Separate the soil and then go from there. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, why you do that to me? If you, st if you do something in the middle of an action, like it's like basically you're stopping the action. Alright. Dead in there. Put it in there. The animation's kind of funny. Alright. Apparently that's all you have to do, just shake it off a little bit. Alright, put that under there. Yeah, we're getting some serious, we're getting some good gold from these mats though. Surprisingly. Alright. So, since we're right here, we might as well just take this. And then, uh... It doesn't even look like there's anything in there. So, I think... Yeah, so it's gonna pour it out. And this thing is on, right? Oh, now it is. It's finished processing the pay dirt. Yeah, there's like nothing in this. I can't remember which one's the... Which one's the right one. Is it that one? There's gold in both of those. Okay. I can't remember which one of those is the, is the correct one to take. But I think you need to fill up your buckets way more. Like we need to do like a lot of, a lot of loading, in order to like fill those buckets up, and then we can take those and actually separate it out. 
Well, guys, that is the largest gold nugget that has been found in 40 years. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go ahead and call it for right there. Uh, I just wanted to make another video showing this thing and uh, also, like, show it, like, you know, getting... Well, I didn't know we were going to have the largest gold nugget in 40 years, but dang, dude, we got some gold! Um, if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know. I'll still bring more if you're interested in it. Hope you guys are having a great day. Things are going well for you in your life. And... Uh, you know, as always, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't already. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me shut all this stuff off. There we go. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon if you haven't already to make sure you never miss an episode from Entech.